will come back on the England side. The man was turned and Young's is looking to go. Wallace takes it on. Ashton on the outside. Ashton going up the wing. Takes on the fullback. Who was Mitchell covering? And Ashton is going. Ashton's going to score. But I've never seen a player in rugby union quite with the appetite and the relentless appetite to get on the end, whether it's offloads or scoring tries himself, creating tries to other people. He changed the ways in which I think wingers looked at it in terms of his rugby lead, tracking lines, second touches, finding and hunting spaces, getting off his wing and being so active. So to go down his legacy, he'll retire in a few weeks when the season ends, but to go down as the greatest try scorer that we've ever seen in this competition is a remarkable way to bow out of a game. They're enjoying this now, and he is enjoying this! Because it's there! First to 100 in the history of the Premiership. The arm is out from Gar, says the penalty is coming Saracen's way. The inside ball to Chris Ashton, he scored a try against Ulster at Twickenham last season! Hands on the ball early on in that New Zealand 22. Part the inside South Africa's last one. Oh, look at this! Ashton! That's Foden. Foden tries to go himself. Terrific offload. Feeds inside. Ashton! Ashton gets the fourth try. Taken quickly, Wigglesworth is away. Bosch hurtling down this left wing as Royals. It's going to need a bit of gas or some help. It's there for Ashton. <laughs> to a sober Ashton. Ashton. <laughs> try number two, is it? Opens up the flood, and it's going to be a try for England. Chris Ashton, trademark Henry's. Looking for one more here. They're always greedy, our Saracens. And a good, lovely on the outside. Ashton, and listen to this place now. Dixon and Garrity once more, now it's the chip, looking for Foden, comes off Earls, this has fallen for Ashton! Fasabalu, Dixon again doing the care job, over their heads, and it's Ashton who's away, and Ashton can screech away from 70 metres out, the interception, and the swallow dive is back! Australia having to work hard and make these tackles in defence, Tyndall, here comes Kuwaito, he's looking for the off he's found it! Croft, one more pass, might be the score, it pass it is! Both sides oh, willing to play, and now there's the end of a two-on-one here, but Stewart steps inside, it's on to Ben Youngs, Chris Ashton is there, and here is Ashton! And Ashton is going to score a hat-trick in 27 minutes! Both missed early penalties, but it burst into life on 19 minutes. Irish lost the ball in the Saints 22, and John Clark released Chris Ashton, and the Saints flyer streaked away for his fourth Premiership try in his last four matches. They formed a terrific combination of late. Oh, short side! It was open! Wide open for Chris Ashton. Lots of numbers for England here. Toby Flood, beautiful angle. Chris Ashton as always alongside him and from the patient Italian build up Done that a couple of times, just okay. stepped out of trouble He's not found touches Ray Harner Little dribble through, Ashton My word That is a brilliant score, is it? But Sarri's responded just minutes later Chris Ashton on hand to touch down a perfectly weighted kick from Good and the fullback extended the lead to 28-10.
Nick Evans opened the scoring for Harlequins with an early penalty, but the game's first try went to the reigning champions. Chris Ashton capitalising on a Mike Brown error to touch down. It's Hoppe, and Hoppe skips to the first tackle. Ashton cannot stop scoring. And turn the screw on Leeds. A brilliant counter-attack by Garrity sent Chris Ashton over for his 10th Premiership try of the season. And after the conversion, Saints were only two points shy. Evans flings it away to Smith and Brown all shaped to kick and then goes on his own and brilliant from Mike Brown. He's punctured that Saints defence and he finds Don Brandt and if Ashton can get it, he has to score. This is an absolute stunner. What a try for Quinns. Finished off with a splash by Ashton. months it's been for London Irish is Alex Corbusiero and for that man Northampton's Tom Wood that was magnificent and he feeds Ashton Northampton to Northampton splashdown here's Finn Russell Vito and the basketball style then Finn Russell one-handed there's so much space there for Ashton and Ashton is in for his hat-trick Switching the play and finding Chris Wiles. The American feeding Chris Ashton, who scooted over in the corner to give Sarries an 18-10 half-time lead. This is Palmer, this is Haskell, this is wonderful from England. Taken away by Ashton and he will have his own hat-trick as well. And if the victory had been set up by two tries from May and sealed by two tries from Artemyev, it was finished off by two tries from Chris Ashton. The first from very close range. And then a rather more trademark finish five minutes from time. 22-10 at the break and a huge amount to do for Warriors. And their mountainous task was all but concluded ten minutes after the interval as Ashton scored his second. The Sharks once again up to the edge of the 22. Dupria chips over the top. To go for it, the ball comes loose. Clip gets it out wide to Ashton. Great footwork from Ashton to reach for the line and score. Saris ruthless. Neil de Kock for Chris Ashton after good work in the mall from Short Brits. Italy, Italy again face England pouring at them. Matt Banahan has got the legs on Gonzalo Garcia. And it's going to be try number four for Chris Ashton. In a way, it completes. England's great day. Offside now to come up, trying to inject some pace. Good. Barrett. Ashton. Some lovely hands sending Ashton in for Northampton's first try and reduce the arrears to 18 11. <laughs> Good, ships it on to Jamie George, Ashton's waiting, Ashton stepping, Ashton scoring! They soon put that right though. Some stern words from Mark McCall at the break, sparking Saracens into life. A lovely solo effort from Ashton, providing the game's first try. And still moving, on to Ashton, oh they've worked that beautifully. Chris Ashton is in the game now, all right. And Northampton have that first try. Trent Duke, Bastero forward. Well, the referee was about to blow, I'm sure, but here's Bastero to Ashton. And Ashton goes on and scores. And setting the ball back for Wigglesworth. Billy Vunapola wants it. It goes to Owen Farrell. He looks for Chris Ashton. And Chris Ashton scores. Wigglesworth taken by Flood. Flings it wide. Taken by Ashton to finish it. Now, Ashton is chasing this one. 
Oh, that's brilliant! Being swung to the ground by Paul Lasiki. Oh, it's hacked through. That's Northmore who's after it. Oh, and Morris, can he grab it? He can. The offload to Ashton. And Ashton looks like he's got his first try for his new club. Farrell chipping one through. He did it earlier on. This time it works. And this time Ashton does have his second. Finished top of the pile in the league showed their impressive staying power though. Chris Ashton bursting clear on 62 minutes to give them some breathing space. Out to Farrell. And good, and there's Ashton! He's splashing again! The Saints counter-attack turned Irish, and from the resulting ruck, Ashton crossed for the simplest of tries. Myla added the extras to make it a 17-point game. And here's Patrick again, joining the line, floats it to find Ashton in the end, and Chris Ashton will look to go from here. Look at the Scarlet's trying to cut him off, but there's a good pace from Ashton. They're going to have to really work hard, and they have got the tap in, but it wasn't enough. Ashton has got it, that first try. It would be Saris to score the first try of the game. Chris Ashton the beneficiary after a fine break from hooker Jamie George. Charlie Hodgson's conversion saw them 7-3 ahead. With a point to prove in the London derby, they started the new campaign with two first-half tries. Chris Ashton finding himself in the right place from a Charlie Hodgson grubber kick. White, white, white. Regal's work. Oh, he dabs one through, rather. Rugby league style, and there it is. The hat-trick. Here's Matthias Moroni, who pokes it through. A chance for Ashton. Ashton gets the score in the corner. It's almost a matter of inches, Dixon. Oh, there's so much space, Ashton's going to get his try. And England do score again. And look at the pace at which they're playing this game. Brits out wide, Chris Ashton. Oh, that is superb. The try bonus point was confirmed with just under 15 minutes left on the clock. Ashton finally crossing after being wonderfully set up by his captain. Avec good maintenant, le coup de pied au bout de Hands are good again, and there's space here for Ashton, rolling, and Chris Ashton. Then got in on the act, making the extra man count on the blind side after smart play from Richard Wigglesworth. Zoski, brilliant oh, angle through him, Ashton on the inside, Chris Ashton is away! We said how important it was! Good, gives it to Brits, lovely ball inside to Barrett, Barrett finds Ashton, Ashton's going to score here! Chris Ashton and Saracens! Third. Infield to McBanahan, who doesn't quite manage to stretch his 6 foot 7 frame out, but the cavalry arrived! Carry there from Ellis Games, who just dodges off it's Harding, and now there's a bit of space out wide. Stewart, and this time Ashton will not be denied. The game was screaming out for a try, and it came two minutes into the second half when summer signing Chris Ashton took an offload from Chris Wiles to score his first try in Saracen's colours.
But Farrell was there on the inside to make yet another tackle. And Ashton kicks on. And Ashton tries to control. And Ashton pops down. Chris Ashton had no problem in cruising past Phil Dolman to score in the corner and reduce the deficit to 10-8. And the host kept pushing for a score. But on 69 minutes, forced it too much. And the hack on by Taylor was chased down by Chris Ashton. Owen Farrell on for Hodgson, converted for a 32-0 lead. Weather. Sends it up for Bryn Evans and it's whipped away. The inside ball is good and it's the poacher. It's Ashton. US Eagles winger Chris Wiles could have been forgiven for thinking his wing partner Ashton was wearing the wrong shirt, with Ashton popping up on the left wing for both scores. Parling again is the call. I'm sorry, Captain. He's called. To a lead. Through the first two. Through three. And he's going to get a score again. And one more touch Ashton. Ashton's poacher instinct once again saw him in and the defending champions could finally breathe a huge sigh of relief. Sarri scrum half Ben Spencer threw a dummy and darted into space in the middle of the park, then placed a beautifully weighted kick to the right-hand side of the field that fell perfectly for Chris Ashton, who collected and touched down with ease. It looked very tight, but you, as you said, you know, the, the Saris went there, they were clinical, the, the liner was good, the scrum was good, Ashton scoring tries again, he had a couple, and it's a wonderful display by Saris, and uh, it's exactly what they needed uh, on the day. But those are the type of places you go to, I think, you know, yeah, as you see, where Treviso, where Leicester struggled down there, the Ospreys mm -hmm. struggled down there, so it would be one day, we'd be delighted now that they got the five points. It is quick enough, happy, Mokweto! And it's going to be a second try for Chris Ashton. <laughs> Kelly, Potter, Clap. ball out, Nandolo again, Nandolo away, what an offload, beautiful from Leicester, beautiful score at Wolverine. Aptly enough, a superb kick at the home of English football gave him the opening, which he finished well in the corner. Toulon reassembled defensively. Ashton! Some sharp handling along the back line ended with Chris Ashton going in at the corner. Again, though, Mark McCall's men were able to respond quickly. Andy Good showing great pace before fellow England speedster Chris Ashton was able to go over in the corner. And the fly half is involved again two minutes later. This is missed pass, keep Alex Good to run out of the ball and set up Chris Ashton for his third try of the season. Then a wonderful break by Paul Diggin was only matched by the winger's long pass to Chris Ashton. The England man adding try number two. Farrell looks inside, nobody's there! Farrell for Ashton! Chris Ashton slides in and scores it! it coming forward in that style, but Saracen's showing that they feel it's time now to go and win it. Ashton going on the outside! Chris Ashton is about to win it! The South African side through the Warriors' defence before offloading to Hodgson, who found Ashton for his second of the game. John O'Ross and Faf de Klerk then combined to send Ashton over to regain the lead. That Chiefs sack this. 
Young's had it. Ford, crossfield kick, acres of space, beautifully measured. And the first try of the game is Chris Ashton's. The visitors were now in full flight and they scored again just after the half hour. A lovely inside ball from Rob Webber and another party trick from Dupria sent in Chris Ashton. With Nick Wood in the bin midway through the second half, Saracens capitalised against 14 men. Captain Hargreaves once again pivotal and Chris Ashton grateful of the pass to cross the line for his third try of the season. Croft rising high, he delivered the ball to Youngs before he was even back on the ground. Haskell, that's beautiful. This is Ashton, and England will have a fourth try. They're running riot in white in Dunedin. Prime poacher Chris Ashton, who got on the end of a neat Richard Wigglesworth box kick to score. Both players showing England head coach Eddie Jones they still have form. Youngs, and now Ford, over the top. Only had to wait five minutes before grabbing his hat trick, as once again he demonstrated his devastating pace. Saracens were now in total command and Ashton, having set up Barrett earlier, made it a debut to remember as he crossed for his second of the day and Saracens third. The first try of the match came from sustained pressure in the Queen's 22. Billy Vanapola with some strong carries before the ball was moved out to man of the match, Alex Good. The home team had a dream start as Chris Ashton's Franklin's Gardens career was signed off in style with the opening try on four minutes. It was his third in as many games. Making a bit of ground here, Exeter now. Maunder with fast ball for once. Witten, oh, in behind Hodge. Trouble brewing. Here's Ashton. He'll set off. Slade tries the tap tackle. Hodge has almost got his man. Ashton draws level. A fair shift. Red Awardy. James kick, charge down, and once more the chase is there, and Sale have the numbers, and it's Ashton on the wing, but also through the middle, well, it's not, it's the centre, indeed, to play, but they have it now, Ashton arrives on time, as he always does. Before the home side finished win number five at Alliance Park, with something of a flourish, which is usually where Chris Ashton comes in. His third try in three games. Stays on his feet well, extra couple of seconds. Youngs finds Deacon. England are running away with this. Thompson! Ashton will get his second. Again through Ashton, but not without the brilliance of first Goob with the looping pass, and then Fraser, who smartly fed the England winner to seal another huge win for the league leaders. But the Sharks managed to stir themselves via a moment of brilliance from Ashton. The former England wing chasing down his own kick before dabbing down for his third try of the pool stages. from Harry Wells, the offload to Nadolo. Well, on to Ashton. As simple as that. Look at the elbows down there on this side. It's what it's off again, but there's Dupree, a little grubber through, across comes. Oh, and they're in the corner. And has Chris Ashton got there? I think he has. Seemed to end when Brad Barrett fed Chris Ashton for the away side's third try. In the face of almost non-existent opposition, Farrell's stroll forward continued by Chris Ashton for the wingers' fourth try of the season. Ah, uh, West, well, you can see he's taking so long, Curry upon it now, Ashton, it's a foot race, can he control it, can he win that race, gathers and scores, there he is, Chris Ashton. And there was even time for a fourth bonus point try, 
as Good again turned provider for the Rapid Ashton, who raced for his second score of the game. Any hope of a Quinn's second half revival was quashed by Ashton's second score of the game. Again the hosts looked clinical going forwards and again the finish was assured from the winger. He's looking for Ashton. 99. And his cleverly weighted kick allowed Chris Ashton to nail Northampton's third just after the half hour mark, putting the Saints 22 points to nil in the clear. Ten minutes into the second period, Sarri's finally crossed the whitewash. Two big busts by Farrell and sharp hand sent Ashton in under the post for a seven point score. And suddenly the visitors were in front, 13-12. His final involvement saw him create the space for Ashton out wide and claim the record for his 16th try at Allianz Park. Simpson with it. Feeds it to Foden. Finds Ashton. Splashes down for a second time. Still advantage to White. Offside again, you're in 14 red. Youngs, Palmer inside to Ashton, Ashton getting away, it's another! Tries to negotiate an extra half a metre or so, Rafael, not the option, Let's to go wide, Ashton! And there was more to come as he created a new Premiership record. Tries two, three and four had been scored in the space of five minutes, which represented the quickest hat-trick in the league's history. An early present for his 30th birthday next week. Bath were guilty of forcing the play and an easy intercept for Duncan Taylor made it all too easy for Ashton in his final season at Saracens. Artemiev, good offload in the end. Ashton on to Foden. Foden's got space and Ashton's going with him. Ashton's on the outside. This is Chris Ashton and that is Ashton in the corner. On the end of that scoreline in Dublin last week, they've hit back here in their own competition. The champions... Celebration as well. 